Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Fluid Surface Actor tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics on how to use the Fluid Surface Actor in Unreal. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little, a little uh, mesh for, our, for us to walk on. So 1024, 1024 of 128. Fill it. Let's see. Let's make this 50. Let's drag it up. We're going to cut a hole in our mesh to put the fluid surface actor in. All right, now let's add a light. Go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes, select Fluid Surface, uh, select Fluid Surface Actor, right click somewhere, right click inside of our little hole, click Add Fluid Surface Actor here, and then we're going to scale the Fluid Surface Actor a little bit, then scale the Fluid Surface Actor be the size of our little hole, or roughly around the same size. Okay. Now raise it up a bit. Go back to our content browser. Also, hold on. Go ahead and open up our fluid surface actor properties. Drop down the little drop box. Where you see fluid surface material, go ahead and go to cool materials or you can go to all assets and materials and pretty much use any material you want to. I'm going to use water. See, we have our little fluid surface actor all ready to go. All right, now let me explain a few things in here. Obviously, this is the deactivation distance. This is how far away the player will be, and the fluid surface actor will deactivate and no longer render. Well, so render, but it won't have any effect. Say you were still able to see it, but if you were to shoot it. Uh, nothing would happen. Alright, this is the dampening of the waves, the height scale, which controls the height of the wave. We'll go ahead and set that to 20. Build lighting. Use light mass. This, we're going to see what it looks like when we have it set to a height map. Uh, sorry, the height scale to 20. <laughs> it's very uh, bouncy. Alright, select our fluid actor again. Let's set the height speed back to 1. This is the simulation of quads, the number of grids. Um, generally, this above 300 is usually somewhat extensive on the hardware, but in a scene like this, you can set it to, well, I could probably set it to 500 or 600 and it would render just fine. And that's pretty much all you really need to know about the fluid surface actor. Um, you can change the detail. You can also debug it. Um, thank you.